The augmented arc welding training system from Miller Electric combines the efficiency and economy of classroom education with the effectiveness of hands-on welding experience. Be sure to register your Miller Augmented Arc system to receive important alerts for free software upgrades. Before beginning setup, please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips in the owner's manual. Use this training system only indoors, away from damp or wet locations, and out of direct sunlight. To set up your Augmented Arc system, start by removing all components from the box. The package includes simulator, helmet, workpiece stand, TIG torch and AR tip, TIG filler rod, router and Wi-Fi antenna, MIG and flux cord gun and AR tip, stick electrode holder, cable and AR tip, and five application coupons. Thread the collar and the MIG gun AR tip onto the end of the MIG gun. Loosen the back cap by twisting it slightly. Unscrew the cup. Unscrew the collet body. Remove the tungsten electrode and collet. And remove the heat shield. Insert the collet and integrated simulation tungsten tip into the TIG AR tip. And then thread the TIG AR tip into the TIG torch head. Tighten the back cap. With the handle of the stick electrode holder facing you, squeeze the handle and insert the AR electrode into the right side of the holder. Then add the AR tip onto the end of the AR electrode. Mount the workstand base. Slide the tube collar onto the long tube and insert it into the base. Add the coupon mounting collars to the shorter tube and insert the coupon and tighten into place. There are two possible configurations for augmented arc. The standalone configuration for a single system installation or the classroom configuration for multiple systems in one classroom. The classroom configuration requires the addition of a controller and a classroom configured router. To set up the standalone configuration, follow these simple steps. Start by connecting the router power cable to the standalone configured router. Plug the other end into a 120 volt, 15 amp AC receptacle or power strip. Connect the Wi Fi antenna to the Wi Fi receptacle on the simulator, or connect one end of the network cable to the router receptacle LAN 1 and the other end to the Ethernet receptacle on the back of the simulator. For automatic software updates, connect an additional network Ethernet cable from a local internet connection to the internet receptacle on the back of the router. Connect one end of the simulator power cord to the simulator and connect the other end to a 120 volt AC receptacle. Turn the simulator power switch on the back of the machine to the on position. Push the on button on the front of the simulator to turn on the machine. If you're setting up multiple augmented arc systems in the classroom configuration, start by connecting one end of the router power cable to the classroom configured router and the other end into a 120 volt 15 amp AC receptacle or power strip. Connect the network Ethernet cable to the LAN 1 receptacle on the back of the router and the other end of the cable to the network receptacle on the back of the controller. Connect a Wi-Fi antenna to the back of each simulator. For the controller and each of the simulators, connect one end of the power cable to the back of the machine and plug the other end into a 120 volt AC receptacle or power strip. Turn on the power switch located on the back of each machine. Now, turn the controller on by pushing the on-off button on the front panel. Then, turn on all simulators by pressing the on-off button on the front panel of each. Then, after logging in as an admin on each simulator in system settings, set the mode to classroom. Then select apply. For convenience and versatility, each augmented arc system comes with a stick electrode holder, a MIG welding gun with AR tip, 
and a TIG torch and filler rod. To connect the MIG gun, align the pins in the connector with holes in the receptacle on the simulator. Insert the connector and tighten the collar. To connect the TIG torch and the filler rod, insert the connectors into the corresponding receptacles on the simulator and tighten the collars. To connect the stick electrode holder, align the pins in the connector with holes in the receptacle on the simulator. Insert the connector. As you perform a simulated weld, the rollers and the handle move the electrode as if it is being consumed. The helmet that comes with your augmented arc system has two mini cameras, a display screen, speakers, and LED lights. Adjust the helmet for size and fit. The first time you use your system, an initial software update is recommended. If your system is connected to the internet, during boot up, it will search out and install the latest software. If your system is not connected to the internet, download the latest software at millerwelds.com and save to a USB stick. Then install from the USB stick. For detailed information on software updates, please refer to your owner's manual. The front panel of the augmented arc simulator contains buttons to set up and control system functions. After setting up the system hardware, get started by using the system navigation buttons on the front of the simulator to select Admin, Admin from the login menu, then press OK. Use system navigation buttons to enter a user password. Each button represents a specific numeral. The default admin user password is 1111. Press OK. The administrator home screen lets you select courses, open a demo, open user guides and tutorials, view simulation demo video, and change system settings. Get started by selecting system settings. Select change date and time to set the year, month, and time. Then select Apply. To change the system configuration to Standalone or Classroom, select Change Mode. If you're using a single augmented arc simulator, select Standalone. If you'll be using multiple simulators and a controller, select Classroom Mode. Return to the Administrator home screen and select My Courses. Your choices are Open Exercise, GMAW, GTAW, or SMAW. Select a course and press OK. Courses can be easily customized on a PC using the teacher software. After you select a course, you will see a list of activities. Select an activity which can be an exercise, theory, or a quiz. To configure the parameters of an exercise, select Open Exercise. Select a difficulty level. Use navigation buttons to select the weld process and additional parameters as prompted. Ensure lighting is adjusted as needed. While looking at the workpiece through the helmet, tap the trigger or press the AR button. Your initial setup of the augmented arc system may require video device setup to compensate for room lighting conditions. Press the Settings button on the front panel and adjust the intensity and temperature to optimize the visibility of the welding tool and simulated coupons. The display screen shows weld settings, including weld voltage, wire feed speed, gas flow, and other settings. If you see settings highlighted in red, they are incorrect for the application and need to be changed. Arrows on the screen show whether to increase or decrease the setting. Use the buttons on the front panel to adjust the settings accordingly. Place the gun or electrode at the simulated weld joint. The simulated guides will help you adjust the angle, direction, and contact tip to work distance. Red guides mean the gun or electrode is not in the correct position. Green guides indicate the gun position is acceptable. Initiate the weld process and move the gun along the entire length of the weld joint. Pay close attention to the on-screen guides and adjust your technique as necessary. Once the entire weld is finished, press Cancel and then select View Results. 
Failing scores are highlighted in red. The colored lines shown on the workpiece correspond to the technique parameters shown in the scoring column. You can select an individual technique parameter and further analyze the test by selecting the WPS summary, change view, and replay options at the top of the screen. Press the cancel button to perform another test or choose a different assignment. For additional information on setting up your augmented arc welding training system, see your owner's manual or visit millerwelds.com.